Hi again, welcome. Here, we are learning the essentials of Twig and how Drupal uses Twig templates. Be sure to pay attention to the syntax of Twig and the order of precedence that Drupal uses for Twig template files. Let's begin. In Drupal, the HTML markup for a theme, with all the necessary divs, IDs, classes, etc. that you need for your CSS to reference, is stored in a text file that ends in .html.twig. This is called a template file, or simply twig file. In Drupal 7 and earlier versions, Drupal allowed PHP in its templates, which can potentially introduce security risks. So now instead, modern Drupal 9 and above uses the Twig templating engine. Twig is a template engine with syntax similar to Django, Jenga, and Liquid. Twig simplifies template creation with clean syntax and useful built-in filters, functions, and tags. In a Drupal template file, which has the extension .html.twig, anything between double curly braces, curly brace and parentheses, or curly brace pound is Twig. Here are some facts which help describe the overall experience of theming in Drupal. Drupal template files have an extension of .html.twig. Multiple template files are used for each page load. Drupal reads nested templates from the most specific to the most general. And any templates presented in the theme layer will have the final say. Drupal templates are broken down into files addressing specific areas of Drupal. This means, if you want to change a very specific part of the theme's HTML, you don't have to wade through lines and lines of HTML and Twig markup just to find the right spot. If we want to customize any of these templates, we need to override them with Twig files located in our custom themes templates directory. Here is a list of the core Drupal templates that are most commonly rendering the content on your Drupal site. If you are using a Drupal module that you have downloaded and installed on your site, it is possible that it also includes its own Twig template files that you can also theme. Drupal renders templates in a specific way. It renders the most specific template first, such as a field.html.twig file, and then Drupal goes up the ladder until it reaches the most generic html.html.twig file. This is rendered last, and note that although named ambiguously, HTML.html.twig provides the basic structure of a single Drupal page. This is what the hierarchy often looks like. First, you start with the field, and then the node, and then a region, and then the page, and then concluding with the HTML template file. So, in summary, remember that Twig is the templating engine Drupal leverages to reduce security risks. Drupal template files end in the .html.twig extension. Remember, Drupal renders templates in the precedence of most specific to the most broad. For example, field templates, then the node template, then the region, then page, page concluding with the template called HTML. Great job completing another video. I'll see you in the next one. Happy learning.